Mm-hmm. Let's get started. Hey y'all, Joe Bizzle 289 here, and it's finally here. The AMD Radeon 7. Well, the day is. I've had this for a couple weeks. Just I've been so busy with military stuff, I just haven't had an opportunity to get this puppy put in and test it out. So finally have some time etched away and we're gonna do it. Um, so I'll give you a little rundown of the Radeon 7. It's the world's first seven nanometer process technology. Has 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, one terabyte a second of memory bandwidth. It has three display ports and one HDMI. It has three, looks like uh, 70 to 80 millimeter fans on it. And um, a huge heat sink. I mean, the heat sink goes from here all the way across. Uh, it does require eight pans of power. And uh, I have a 650 power supply, so that should be more than enough to, uh, to power this guy. Um, we're gonna put it through a, a big battery of tests, uh, mainly looking at FPS numbers. Um, so we're gonna do the big ones. You know, we're gonna do PUBG, Apex, Battlefield 5, uh, also Resident Evil 2, uh, gosh, just, uh, just a whole bunch of them. I'll put up all the specs and everything that shows, you know, where, where it landed. You know, we're going to do peak FPS and the average FPS that I got. Now, these are strictly my numbers based off of uh, Ryzen 5 2600. So, you know, your, your, yours may be a little bit different, but I'm pretty sure you're going to get baseline right around there. Now, will all those numbers be worth it? You know, in the end, that's gonna be your determination because this does come in at $700. Uh, you know, that's gonna be give or take, you know, market value on, on what, what you can get, you know, from where, where you can get it from. But, you know, for $700, is, are those FPS numbers gonna be worth it to you? So, without any further ado, let's take out that old RX 590, pop this puppy in, and see what we get. Alright, so the whole day of uh, testing all these games is done, uh, the card performed flawlessly. Uh, I was really impressed with a lot of the specs that I was seeing. Again, you'll see here on these charts here in a second that I did all the settings maxed out as high as I could, um, and it was in 1080p, because I, I don't have a 4K or a uh, 1440p uh, display, so all I could do was uh, 1080p. But, you know, I was really impressed with the uh, results that I got, and you know, even though I'm not going to see those FPS based off the uh, the monitor that I have, you know, I have a 75 hertz monitor, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to see those additional uh, frames. Uh, but what I will notice is smoothest of playing. Uh, that's if I don't turn, uh, you know, VSync on. If I do turn VSync on, then I'm not going to have any issues with tearing or or things being not smooth. I mean, there wasn't a single game where this card couldn't make it at 75 hertz. Uh, just any game that I threw at it, it was well over the 100 FPS range. Okay, so without any further ado, we'll put up the numbers, and then you can take a look at it, and then we'll go, come back for some closing comments.
Okay, so there it is, the Radeon 7. You know, uh, at the end of the day, I think this is a solid card, and I think anybody that buys it is going to be happy with it, you know. It gets you solid, you know, FPS across the board, you know, an average of probably around 150 across all games, and, um, you know, it's just going to help you, you know, on your production side as well, you know, for uh, you know, video creation and, and content creation and other stuff like that. Um, However, I think for $700, I think it's a little bit much, especially when you have cards such as the uh, GTX 1660 Ti, uh, you know, coming in at about 300 to 350, you know, uh, putting up very similar numbers uh, to this, or, or you could get, you know, or you could go with the RTX, you know, 2060 and have those ray tracing cores available for when, you know, games do, tar do start taking more advantage of that, you know. Uh, but again, you know, at the end of the day, it's a solid card, and I, I think anybody that buys it would be uh, happy with it. All right, so that's going to do it. You know, as always, go ahead and give me a like, share, and subscribe. You know, that helps me out. Uh, but you know what? I'm tired. I need a break. We'll see you later.